Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Zenzo with Tozawa Tanks. Algae. Probably something that you have in your aquariums right now. And if you're like a lot of people, you might be trying to get rid of it. Well, in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about what algae is, why people try to get rid of it, and why I think most people should embrace algae. Now, before I talk about algae, let's talk real quickly about the sponsor of this video, Into the AM. Into the AM is a team of artists and creators that formed an apparel company to share a common vision of developing premium apparel that elevates self-expression while focusing on comfort by using the highest quality materials and eco-friendly inks. Into the AM has dozens of cool designs to choose from, covering many categories including t-shirts and tank tops, hoodies and jackets, hats, and even joggers and shorts. Use the link and discount code below to shop at Into the AM and find your clothing piece to express what drives you. So thank you to Into the AM for sponsoring this video. Check out the link down below for some great t-shirts. This is one that I'm wearing. This is an Into the AM hat. I've got a bunch of other designs and more on the way. I bet that you'd have a hard time not finding at least three shirts in their catalog that you would love to wear. Algae is a photosynthetic organism that photosynthesizes just like plants do. To oversimplify it, I would say that algae is a single-celled plant, although there are multicellular algaes out there like seaweed or some macro algaes that you might find in saltwater tanks. But for the most part, for the purposes of, of this video, let's just think of algae as a single-celled plant. For a lot of people, algae can be unsightly. It could be something that's covering your glass or your acrylic and you wanna get it off that front pane so that you can view your fish and your shrimp and your plants and everything else in there. A lot of people think that algae in their aquarium is bad and that it means that there's something wrong with their aquarium and that their tank is dirty. But let's talk first about why I think algae is good. Now, one of the reasons why I like algae and why I try to embrace it is that it's natural, right? It's something that happens naturally in our aquariums. Now, you'll look around and you see lots of little boxes of glass or acrylic, little micro ecosystems, essentially. I've got algae in there, plants in there, things that are just kind of helping to balance the aquarium, and algae is part of that. Now, one of the biggest benefits of algae is that it actually helps to make your water cleaner. So despite your misconception of thinking that algae means that your aquarium is dirty and bad, in fact, the algae in there is actually helping your aquariums. So like aquarium plants, algae is also pulling nutrients out of the water and basically helping to keep your water a little bit cleaner. Now, when it comes to aquarium plants, we like them because they look good. We like them because they provide hiding places for fish and things like that. But algae also can do the same thing depending on the type of algae. Now, another great thing about algae is that it's a great food source. So you'll have small fish in your aquarium that might graze on the algae and nibble at it, especially if you haven't fed for a while, if you're away on vacation for a week or so. If you have algae in the aquarium, it's just something, it's like having like a, a growing salad that's always there for them to kind of pick and eat at. Additionally, it's great for baby fish, what we call fry. Additionally, there are little things that might live in the algae. So you have little microorganisms in the algae that the fish can feed off of themselves. Additionally, there are fish that eat algae outright and a lot of us like those because they help to kind of keep your aquariums clean, or it's also a really good source of food for fish that actually need to have that type of plant matter in their diet. So for example, behind me, we've got some African cichlids right here. I can take like a handful, a literal handful of algae that I can squeeze into like the size of a baseball, put it in here, and within a day it's gone. The imbuna, they eat it. And that's what they eat in the wild, they eat algae. It also is a great food source for things like snails and shrimp and other, you know, invertebrates that we want in our aquariums to help keep our aquariums balanced. It's a great food source for them as well. Another great thing that I like about algae is that it actually makes things look a little more natural. I've got aquariums with fake backgrounds in them. They look like rock work. And when they get some algae on them, it looks a lot better. So I really like the natural aesthetic that that you see when there's a decoration or a rock or something in there with a little bit of algae on it. Now, algae can also be a good visual indication that something has changed in your aquarium and we can actually learn from it. So if you see an algae bloom, if you see a bunch of algae growing on surfaces, it's an indication that something has changed in your aquarium where you've given too much nutrients, or maybe it's a situation where you haven't done a water change in a while and the algae is telling you, hey, there's lots of food for us. Maybe you wanna do a water change to have a little bit less algae. Another thing that it can teach us is 
our lights on too long or is there a light source that's hitting our aquarium that maybe we don't want to. So if you have an aquarium that's near a window or near a skylight or some other area where it gets direct sunlight or indirect sunlight for a long period of time, you'll see some extra algae growth. You might have a situation where you leave your lights on. So maybe you went on vacation for a weekend and forgot to turn off your aquarium light or you don't have them on a timer and you come back after three or four days and your tank's brown or green because the lights were left on. And that's a good way for you to know, oh, I should probably have my lights on a timer or I can just turn my lights off for the full time that I'm gone so that when I come home, I'm not coming home to an algae bloom. So algae can teach us quite a bit about aquarium and it's a great visual way of seeing something right away and knowing something's changed without having to do a water test initially. Now let's talk a little bit about how to get rid of algae. Now you might be asking, Zenzo, why do you wanna get rid of algae when you just talked about all the great things about algae? And that's true and that's fair. Now a couple things, one, just because I like it doesn't mean I want it everywhere. I might just want a little bit, but not a lot of it. And also because my aquariums are on camera, I pay a little bit extra attention to make sure that they look presentable on camera so that I don't get beat up in the comments by everyone saying, oh, the tanks are terrible, there's algae everywhere. In some cases that might be true and I probably don't film those or I'll make some excuse um, about you know what's going on there. Um, but the truth is, is that in a lot of cases, I'll remove algae because I'm filming. Or it might be a situation where I do a quick cleaning before I film and then the rest of the month it goes back to normal and back to their natural state. So if you have a little bit of excess algae, you wanna control it, control the amount of time that the lights are on in your aquarium or the amount of light that hits your aquarium from other outside source like a window or a skylight or something. So if you do have a situation where your tank's near a window, either move the tank or put some kind of barrier between your aquarium and and uh, the, the window so that it's not getting that direct sunlight. If you have lights, I would recommend putting them on a timer. I have all of my aquariums on a timer and I can control them on all from my phone. If you have excess nutrients, you're gonna have the possibility of more algae. So feeding less is one way of getting rid of algae in addition to reducing the amount of light and just having less nutrients for the algae to consume or doing some more frequent water changes would also help with that as well. There are other things that you could have in your aquarium that will help with algae control. It could be invertebrates like snails. It could be things like a mono shrimp, which I've used very successfully. It could be fish that eat algae. I've talked about the imbuna, but there are other fish that will work well like Siamese algae eaters, Florida flag fish, um, different like autosynclus or other fish that you can put in the aquarium that will eat the algae. Now it is important to know that if you do have animals that you're relying on to reduce algae, some of those also are going to need some additional food sources. So don't rely just on the algae in your aquarium to feed the fish. You might have to put in some additional fish food or some additional food for the shrimp. Now, if you feed too much food, they're gonna ignore the algae and they're gonna eat the food. Some other things that we could do to combat algae is use aquarium plants. So aquarium plants and algae pretty much need the same thing when it comes to nutrients. Algae grows faster. So what you'll wanna do is just make sure that you have plants in there that can outcompete the algae. So something that's fast growing, something that's getting the right amount of nutrients. So using some root tabs or some fertilizers to make those plants really grow. And then they're gonna absorb all the nutrients because they're nice and big and healthy and growing quickly. And you're gonna have less issues, issues with algae because the plants are doing so well. You could also use chemicals um, like algicides um, and other things. I tend to avoid those unless it's absolutely necessary, more relying on more natural ways of removing the algae. And then lastly, one way to do it is just to manually remove it with a brush or tweezers or a fork. There's lots of ways, you know, scrubbing it obviously off the sides of the glass or acrylic. There's lots of ways of manually removing algae and you might wanna use a combination of all of these if that's something that you're trying to do. So just know that algae in your aquarium is okay, it's not a bad thing. Maybe we just need to uh, hug and appreciate algae a little bit and uh, this let it happen in our aquariums. It is little boxes of nature and there's nothing wrong with that. Hopefully this video gave you a little bit more insight into algae, which we all probably have in our aquariums. If you wanna learn about something else that we probably don't want but should embrace in our aquariums, then click this video right here.